All right, today we're going to talk about a very important topic, paycheck routine. You've probably heard of this term paycheck routine many times, but what is it exactly? Basically, it's a sequence of steps that you're going to do upon receiving your pay. This will help you keep track of your financial life and hopefully it helps you to achieve your financial goals. So why is it important? Well, a solid paycheck routine is kind of like a foundation for a strong financial future. Picture this, you get financial stability, you are stress-free budgeting and planning your money, you have a peace of mind knowing that all your bills and expenses are being covered for and more importantly, you get to save more money. That way, you're able to accumulate wealth, invest and save and help you to achieve things that truly matter to you. But here's the thing, right? Setting up a paycheck routine is not always a walk on the park. It can be so confusing sometimes because you need to juggle between different accounts, you know, keeping track of one, the other and so on and so forth. After one or two months, it's difficult to keep up and most of us just give up. So to make your paycheck routine a sustainable habit, it's really important to simply Simplify all this complicated stuff, make it into one simple system that can help you to keep track of everything under one account. So today I want to share with you the system and the tools that I use to create a paycheck routine for myself. They're so much more simple and easy to keep track of so that it can be a sustainable habit. Ultimately, at the end of the day, how you divide the money, it's really up to you depending on your salary and your lifestyle and so on. But having a proper system can really help you to stick true with the habit and build a good financial future for yourself. When it comes to this particular system and tool, there are three fundamental criteria that are needed. First up, we need a system that allows us to easily transfer a portion of our hard-earned paycheck from the bank to this particular tool. Second, it should be a platform where we can handle most, if not all, our expenses, making sure that everything is accounted for. And last but not least, this tool and system must have the ability to help us invest a portion of our money so that our money can work hard for us. Transfer, spend and invest. Ultimately, these are the three magic ingredients that is needed for a perfect paycheck routine. After trying all the various apps in the market, I find this one app that fits all these criteria. The Touch and Go e-wallet app. Instead of using multiple apps and accounts to manage your money, this one app can do it all. Okay, most of you may be wondering now, Touch and Go is just an e-wallet app, right? What's it gonna do with a paycheck routine? Isn't it just all about spending? Well, let me walk you through how I integrate this Touch and Go e-wallet app into my whole paycheck routine. Firstly, once I receive the paycheck every month, the first thing I do is to pay off my loans and commitments. After paying off all this, What's left is for me to pay my bills, spend the money and also invest. So here is where Touch and Go e-wallet comes in handy. Let's say your income is 4,000 ringgit a month and once you get a salary, you would pay off your house loan, car loan. Assuming what you have left is around 2,000 ringgit for daily expenses, bills and savings, here is where you transfer this money into your Touch and Go e-wallet. It's also really convenient to transfer your money from a bank account to your Touch and Go e-wallet app. It's super simple and simple. Seamless. Just use do it now and seamlessly transfer the money into your Touch and Go e-wallet app. Plus, you can save the transfer as favorite, which makes it even easier by just transferring with a few taps whenever you need to. Oh, don't forget, you should also keep a small amount of cash at hand so that you can use cash when the place requires you to. Last time, I'll keep a slightly bigger portion because many of those hawker stores do not have e-wallet and so on. But these days, many of the hawker stores and small shops actually have integrated e-wallet into their payment system and touch and go is certainly one of the most common ones so I keep a lot lesser cash these days because today in most of the places you can just scan and pay I just love this because in the past when you are spending cash sometimes you just do not know where your money is going nothing much is recorded but when you're using an e-wallet app like touch and go everything is recorded you can track all your expenses where you've spent the money today which restaurant or which stall that you have paid for that nasi lemak four ringgit and fifty or 8 ringgit, everything is trackable. By month end, you are able to track your finances and know where exactly your money went to. And in my opinion, that is way more convenient than spending cash. By the way, one more reason that I use this Touch & Go e-wallet app so much is because it allows me to pay all my necessary bills on the app itself. I can pay for TNB, Inda Water, Water Bill, Phone Bill, whatever you can name it, it is almost all there. On top of that, if you are someone who drives like me, paying for parking can be really a hassle using the different app. But guess what? Under the Touch & Go e-wallet app, 
you can pay for parking easily within the app itself. And that's one of the reasons why I use it almost every day for my daily transactions. By the way, for those of you who are interested to receive more personal finance tips, to keep up with investment news and some of our behind the scenes thoughts, do sign up to our newsletter on www.mrmoneytv.com. And guess what? When you sign up for the newsletter, you will receive a retirement calculator. Click the link below and sign up for our newsletter. And while you're there, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Now let's talk about the most interesting part of using the Touch and Go e-wallet, the Go Plus feature. Imagine if you're keeping cash in your wallet and spending it on a daily basis, the cash in your wallet is not gonna work for you. It doesn't generate any return. Even when you use other apps, the money is just gonna sit there in the wallet, not earning any return and just waiting to be spent. But here's the difference with Go Plus. Go Plus offers a daily return on the balance with a better interest than a regular bank savings account. Here's the cool thing, whenever I make any transactions, it is automatically deducted from a GoPlus balance. This means a full control to cash out the balance from GoPlus anytime. It kind of acts like a high yield saving account, providing flexibility to spend the money directly while earning daily interest from the account. But wait, it gets even better. When I use GoPlus together with a quick cash in feature, I never miss out on my returns. Okay, what's this quick cash in feature? Okay, basically, it automatically sweeps all my e wallet balances into the Go Plus balance, making sure that my money is working hard for me at all times. All right, if you're still confused, imagine this. Usually when you take out a portion of your money to spend on a daily basis, you would either put it in your wallet or either you put it in a normal saving account. But as usual, your wallet doesn't provide any return at all on the balance inside and a saving account provides only a very low amount of return. But when it comes to Go Plus and quick cash in feature, what happens is that when you put your money there in this touch and go e-wallet, the money that is not spent will be automatically transferred to the Go Plus balance, helping you to earn daily returns before you spend the money. Making sure that every ringgit that you have on you is working for you every day. Isn't that great? <laughs> See? I just earned some returns today just simply by putting in my money into the Touch and Go e-wallet app and using it as my main transaction tool. Okay, we have covered the part of earning daily returns using your Go Plus balance. But there's another part that I really enjoy about the Touch and Go e-wallet app, which is the convenience of using it daily for my expenses. Whether is it paying for toll using my RFID or using my NFC Touch and Go card or either going to a normal kopi tiam outside and then buying chicken rice or ordering food through delivery apps. You can use the Touch and Go e-wallet app almost anywhere. Plus, the app also enables easy money transfer between friends and colleagues. Have you ever gone out for lunch with a colleague and someone pays the bill? After that, you only split the bill and pay them back? Well, the Touch and Go e-wallet app makes paying back your friends really easy and convenient. Don't even need a bank account number. By the way, do you guys know that there's also a Touch and Go e-wallet Visa card? So if you're in certain places where they do not accept e-wallet payment, but they have a credit card machine, the Visa card will be able to help you. Right, this Visa card is just like any normal debit card that you can use for e-commerce purchase or swiping it over a credit card machine. But here's the interesting part, it is a numberless card. Yes numberless. You know how when you have a Visa card or MasterCard and you have that number, that number is private and when people steal that number, they can do a lot of stuff with it. Having a numberless card like the Touch and Go e-wallet app Visa card means that you have complete privacy. Only you have access to the card number via the Touch and Go e-wallet app. So you can bid farewell to all those worries that people will steal your card number and do some fraudulent transaction. And even if you lose your card, don't worry, you can simply lock the card quickly in the app to prevent any fraudulent use. Not cancer, it's just simply lock and after you find it back, you can reactivate it again. So that's a lot more convenient. No need to keep replacing card whenever you're worried that you lose your card. Okay, we have talked about spending. Now let's talk about investing, a very important part of the paycheck routine. Enter Go Invest. Within Go Invest, there's an investment fund that's suitable for all risk appetite. If you're someone with a lower risk appetite looking for a money market fund, you can go for the Principal Islamic Money Market Fund, which offers a projected return of 3.95% per 
annum. What if you're looking for investments with potentially higher return? Well, recently they launched eight new unit trust fund offering diversification based on risk appetite and choice of Shara or conventional fund. You are spoiled with choices within this app. So now you have multiple options to choose from, ranging from conservative to aggressive fund. For me, I prefer a more aggressive fund like the principal global titan fund with a historical return of 12.35% per annum over the past three years. And you know what's the best part? You can start investing with as low as 10 ringgit. That is truly affordable, especially compared to other unit trust provider which often require a minimum investment of 300 ringgit per month or either an initial investment of 500 to 2000 ringgit. Plus, the app offer a feature to set up a monthly auto cash in. Basically, it makes it like a regular saving plan. So you don't have to remind yourself to transfer money into investment every month. It will just automatically invest your money into the funds of your choice each month. This helps you to cultivate a habit of investment via automation, which can contribute to long-term wealth growth. To sum it up, if you're looking for the one app that makes it really convenient to build a paycheck routine, Touch & Go eWallet app does it all. From the convenience of managing your daily transaction to effortlessly saving and investing your money, it offers convenience and flexibility to manage your finances according to your personal preference. Ultimately, I believe I'm not the only one who's using the Touch & Go eWallet app extensively into my paycheck routine. If you're one of them and you have some creative tips and tricks of using this Touch & Go e-wallet app, do share with us in the comments below. I'll see you next week.